Carrie Michael. Hello everyone, I'm Kerry Michael. I'm the Artistic Director of the Theatre Royal Stratford East. Um, just quick hands up, who's, who's never been to the Theatre Royal Stratford East? Just so I know. Oh, oh okay, fair enough. Um, we're a theatre in East London and we have a couple of... Um, that's great, that's right. Just, just get, 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 it, get it going. I just turn it down a bit. Um, I'm going to play a video and talk on top of it. Um, uh, we're obsessed with um, equality we're obsessed with being, a, we call ourselves a people's theatre. Um, and one of the things that we do inside that is something called, um, we've been trying hard to do something about co-creation. There's something about an artist and an audience, they come together and they make the event. And it's the event that we're obsessed by. Um, I've been inspired by um, lots of work in Brazil. Um, there's some people here who work in People's Palace projects who are Rosie and Andre do a lot of work in Brazil and they know, they know it much better than I do. But I was out there and we did something which was called home theatre. And we got that model and we brought it to London. And basically what we did was we co-created 30 pieces of work in 30 homes across London. And what we explored was the notion of um, stories, the notion of stories in London. Um, and by the end, we got a landscape of how London felt through these stories. The other thing that was interesting for us was that we worked with actors in London who were being artists. And in London, you've got an actor who needs to be told what their script is, they need a director. But we had to explore how an actor in London becomes an artist and makes their own piece of work. Um, and also, when we were exploring this work, we also had to kind of understand um, how we listen to our audience before we even do the show. So what we tried to do was create an immersive experience in people's homes, but which was created for them, which was a bespoke event for them. That was what we were trying to kind of do there. Um, and what was interesting mostly for us was the power between us as the artist and the audience and the equality of that power. And the reason why the power was equal was because we were going in their space. We were going in their homes. And you, you saw there one of the things that we called it a gift. We were giving them a gift. And what was interesting working in Brazil and in London, when we went to and asked them why do they want this work, we got a whole range of different reasons why people wanted us to do home theatre in their homes. And it went from, um, I've got three children, I can't afford to go to the theatre, I want to give them some entertainment, to that hospital down the road doesn't care for my sister properly and I'm really angry with the politicians for not caring for her to my mum's sister is dying and they haven't spoken in 20 years and I want something to help heal the wounds of those two people who I love. So a whole range of people were trying to come to us to, um, uh, f for, to use our art to achieve something in their lives. And one of the most profound things that we found was, which I think is interesting for this conversation, was um, because we were doing the work in their homes, their home was forever changed. The memory of their home, the memory of their front room would never be the same again because we'd infiltrated it with a piece of work about something that was important to them. Uh, so we did that um, and we are planning to do it again next year with the funding from Gilbenkian. I'm also looking at doing the same idea in cities across England and see how we can sort of 
put them all together. The other thing that was interesting was that we had 30 filmmakers with us. We had 30 filmmakers filming the 30 pieces of theatre, and all 30 pieces are online. And we had a very naive attempt to trying to capture the, the work digitally. And I think the next stage for us is how we make the digital experience an interactive experience for the people who experience it in their homes, if that makes sense. Um, as, well as, as well as letting everyone else have a sense of what all the pieces were. Um, so that's kind of what I'm interested in um, going forward. Um, yeah, and, the, and just the last bit is we've done, a, we've done a huge amount of work outdoors. We've done, a, we've done quite a lot of work with lots of international companies doing work in our streets. And I think the nearest I'm able to understand how this will work outside is it, the problem with, with this kind of work outside is the co-creation bit. Yep, there's flash mobs, there's, there's, there's us doing stuff in people's streets, but the bit I'm interested in is how we can, we can co-create something in people's streets that they have an ownership on and then create a piece of work with them for them. And that's the kind of challenge that I'm up for. Thank you very much.